In coming into Davidson as a black student, I didn't expect Davidson to culturally fulfill my needs because I genuinely didn't believe that they knew how to do that. Uh, so that was not an expectation for me. But ironically, what I did find were people who welcomed me into their culture. And I honor and respect and appreciate the efforts that my fraternity brothers and my college union buddies uh, and others did to try to include me. Uh, I'm really grateful to them for that. But I also understand, given the 50 years of perspective, that it was something that they simply were not capable of providing. Hence, the Black Student Coalition. I remember being on campus, and back then, the Black Student Coalition House was on Jackson Court. It was this tiny little place with these really ugly curtains, and there was a refrigerator in there with a freezer that had a solid block of ice. We didn't know what was frozen there. We never thought it, because we didn't want to find out. And we had our parties over there, but it was very much the Black Student Coalition was the center of our existence. Everything we did centered on that because there were so few of us. It was, it was you know, like our lifeboat. I remember my best memories at Davidson are involved with the Black Student Coalition, but it was a very different place then when you walked on that campus than it is today. It just seems normal, like, of course it's here, but there were people that had to have that idea of like, we want a house, we want a coalition, like we need a constitution, a bylaws. Like those are a lot of things where it's like, it's just here and we don't think about where it came from. And I, I think it's so important for us moving forward about thinking where we want to go. Um, just know what the kind of ideas and goals were for the people who started it. What did they want to see happening on campus? Like what did they want to change? Or like, are we doing those things? Are we what they wanted, what they envisioned for the campus to be? I was one of, frankly, the, the black students on campus who really recognized that uh, we needed something. We needed something that really helped better support us culturally, and uh, the Black Student Coalition grew out of that. I think those were the first tentative steps that happened through the creation of Black Student Coalition, and I'll tell you why. The administration was saying, we understand that your cultural life is not the same as the mainstream cultural life here at Davidson College. So, and that we also understand that we don't know how to do that. We, the administration, don't understand how to do that, but you do. And so please, black students, do it, and we will support you uh, in creating it. So not only was it giving us inclusion, saying our worldview and our perspectives were valuable, but also agency to say, so let's go do it. The Black Student Coalition was both a haven and a ground and a place for me to develop. Um, it's what saved me. I, you know, if I don't, we used to always laugh and say that if we did our jobs right at the Black Student Coalition, in 20 years they wouldn't need one. And um, I laugh at that now because I think Davidson will always need that. And before I came to Davidson, I never thought about being black. I just never thought about it. I came there and all of a sudden I realized what it meant to be black. But at the same time, I had the Black Student Coalition that let me understand what it could be to be black. As other people begin to learn and begin to come into these spaces and just be wanting to learn and um, they learn more about different cultures, different identities, different backgrounds, and it just diversifies the Davidson community as a whole. And I think just having the BSE and having that space is just a, a great step in the right direction to like obviously having inclusion and having equity uh, for every student at Davidson. I think it's just a great kind of atmosphere to be around students and get to know others outside of that class barrier um, and build genuine bonds and relationships with people you probably don't see in your everyday schedule. If anybody had ever told me when I graduated from Davidson in the mid-80s that I would send a child of mine back there, I would have told them they were crazy. I watched there be black professors on campus. I watched an Africana Studies department being built. I watched different presidents come and go and do different things. And at the time Maya came, it was Carol Quillen. I'd watched what she'd done there. I'd been on that campus. I saw more faces that were gonna look like her. So by the time Maya went to Davidson, I knew that the Davidson that I left 
was very different than the Davidson that I was going to send her to. There are people who do not think like me. There are people who do not see the same things I do. But me having the ability to have a conversation with them was cultivated and developed at Davidson. And being able to understand other people's differences um, really helped me grow uh, as an individual and also really helped me grow as a teacher and as a facilitator because it allows me to be more open-minded and be more uh, inclusive for the people who do the same work as me. Uh, we may have different views on how to teach, but we all have the same goal in mind is to make sure that these students are cared for and that they get the best education possible. The BSC really has um, allowed me to do that with the different opportunities that were provided for me um, to build that community and build that understanding with other people. What I had discovered in these many years out of Davidson is that no matter how we felt about each other in that space, when we grow up and we live a real life, and we have real problems in the world, most of us look back on that time and say, you know what, we were protected. That was a safe space. Every day wasn't great, every day's not great anywhere. But coming out of there, there is a connection that you have to Davidson people. And it's not just black people, because I mean, that's my closest connection, but the connection that you have, that no matter who you are, no matter what you did, you were first and foremost a Wildcat. I'm grateful to, to be a part of the Davidson community. I'm grateful for the contributions that it has made and continues to make in the world. And uh, I'm grateful that it's constantly searching to do better. Can't ask for more than that.